I'm Michelle and I'm going to teach you how to make spaghetti squash because I love it and I'm shocked by how many people don't know what it is and don't know how to make it. So first, this is a spaghetti squash. It is garden fresh from my mother-in-law's garden, which is awesome because that means it's free. First thing we do is cut off the top compost it if you are a composter and cut off this cute little booty and then put them up on one of those flat ends because you don't want to cut it like this and have it roll and cut your finger that's not a good time so stand them up and then cut them in half lengthwise and then you're going to spoon out all those guts again if you're a composter like I am then compost it. If you are not a composter, then just pitch it. Easy as that. So do that to both halves. Can you hear my dog barking outside? <laughs> There we go. So now we have all the guts out. Fabulous. And we are going to put them on these pre-spray cookie sheets. Face down. And put them in the oven for 45 minutes at 350. And I will come back after the magic of video and show you what to do when they come out. See you then. Okay, so the butternut squash has come out of the oven. You will want to let it cool because burning your fingers is not fun. <laughs> Just be patient. I'm not always great at that. Um, but don't burn your fingers. So it comes out. It looks like this. He's done. He's uh, soft. That's how you can tell when they're done is that you can push on them a bit and they have a bit of give. Can you see that? Does that make sense? So anyway, you just take your fork and you fork out the strands and dump them into a bowl. With a bowl. This is for my lunch tomorrow, so I'm putting it into a Tupperware. Do your best not to get any skin because it's not awesome coming across skin as you're eating your delicious spaghetti squash. But I really like to kind of get in there with my fork because I don't want to spare any of it. <laughs> Some people might not be as OCD as I am with this, but this is how I do it. And I try my best to, like I said, not to get skin. And, and then just add them to your bowl. And I top mine with my homemade spaghetti squash. I can post that another time if anybody is interested. Or just top it with whatever your favorite store-bought spaghetti sauce is. Or if you are a butter and spices person, just treat it however you would pasta. So whatever you would put on top of pasta, put on top of spaghetti squash. And that's it. I hope that made sense. If it didn't, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, there's also a spaghetti squash au gratin recipe that I adore. I discovered it recently. So I'm definitely going to use some of this spaghetti squash to make that, seeing as how I had four spaghetti squash to make. And there are five more in our kitchen. It was a plentiful crop this year. So that's all. If you have any questions, please post them below. I'm happy to answer.